The most important thing that you can use in your six ring binder is washi tape. I thought, okay, now I don't need no ruler. I can freehand this. It was a whole mess. Hey kittens, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as y'all already know by the title, I am going to be sharing with you guys today nine essential six ring binder supplies. It don't matter if you're a beginner or a pro. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So first things first, you gonna need you a six ring binder. So I have a few of my six ring binders to show you guys. So this is just an empty A6 six ring binder. So they come in different sizes, so just be sure that you know the sizing that you want. So this is my purple A6 six ring binder. So this one actually has paper in it. I decorated the cover. This is my A5 binder. So if you want a binder that's bigger and you can fit more things into, then you might wanna go ahead and get you a little A5. So the second essential apply I feel that everyone will need is paper. That's probably, hello, a no-brainer, right? So the paper you can use for different kinds of things so you can either get blank pages you can get pages with pictures on them you can get lined pages you could also use a sticky notes inside of your six ring binder if you want to decorate it so your next essential supply for your six ring binder is writing supplies so these are your highlighters if you would like to use highlighters they're also your markers if you are a marker person gel pens pencils crayons Ain't nobody about to be the journal police. You can do what you wanna do in your journal, okay? And keep in mind, if you guys are actually drawing in your six ring binder, cause you don't just have to use a six ring binder for journaling, you can literally do sketches, you can literally just do to-do lists, you can do a brain dump, you can do so many different things. So I just wanted to give you guys some ideas on another essential supply that you can need that is a writing utensil. So y'all, probably literally the most, I mean like, Lo más importante cosa, like the most important thing that you can use in your six ring binder is washi tape. Washi tape has so many different uses. So literally y'all, if you want to decorate the border of a page in your six ring binder, if you wanna use it to tape a picture onto your six ring binder. Literally, washi tape is the answer, y'all. There are so many different designs for washi tape. There are so many different colors for washi tape. Washi tape is literally like the GEM of six ring binder supplies. So the next one is kind of along the same lines and those are stickers, kittens. When I tell y'all I've become a sticker addict, not just because I own an Etsy shop where I sell stickers and sun catchers, but literally stickers just brighten and liven up your pages in your six ring binder so beautifully. There are so many different kinds, so you can get ones that are literally just shapes or they can be in confetti. You can get some that are the alphabet. You can get some that are food. So here are just some spreads where I've been using all the different supplies that we talked about so far, y'all. You cannot go wrong with stickers. I am telling y'all, y'all will be so happy. And before y'all know it, y'all just gonna hit y'all a whole mountain of stickers. So before we get into the next few, I want you guys to comment below what is your favorite six ring binder supply? I know for me, it's a tie literally between washi tape and stickers. They are both essential to me. So let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think. So the next essential supply when it comes to six ring binder items is scissors. I'm not the best at cutting stuff. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. Sometimes stuff be crooked, sometimes stuff be lopsided. It just be a whole mess with me sometimes. So yeah, but scissors definitely, if you wanna cut something down to make it shorter, if you wanna cut out a letter or a title like I did for one of my journal with me's, if you just want that nice, clean cut, you're going to need either scissors or a paper cutter, which is an essential supply. So the next supply is double-sided tape. So I'm not talking about that one-sided tape, y'all, okay? Which is cool, it's cute if you wanna do the whole rolly thing to have things stick onto your page. But if you're using double-sided tape, it literally makes your life so much easier. I would really encourage you guys to try out double-sided tape if you haven't for anything you do in your six ring of binder. So the next item y'all gonna need is some tweezers. 
Y'all, sometimes you just can't pick up these stickers, okay? Your fingers be slipping. So I would definitely say having tweezers is an essential supply. The last supply that I had to put on here because I'm like, they need to know this too. Because let me tell you, this thing changed the game. If y'all have not seen my bullet journaling videos, them lines be crooked. It just be north, south, east, west, the whole compass, okay? It just don't even make no sense. So this next essential supply that you gonna need is a ruler, kittens. Let me tell y'all how many times I'm trying to draw either some lines on the page or I'm just trying to do like some cute little geo type of shape and I'm like, hey girl, you need to A ruler will make it so much easier, y'all. Let me tell you, I overthought it at first. I thought, okay, now I don't need no ruler. I can freehand this. It was a whole mess, okay? It looked like I was three years old trying to figure out how to draw a line. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding, y'all. So a ruler is also a great supply when it comes to using your six ring binder. So I really hope that this video was super helpful for you guys. Also, if you guys have not subscribed below to be a part of the kitten family, please be sure to do so. Also check out my six ring binder playlist. It will be up in the card for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Adios kittens.